Okay, we're going to do another uh, episode of automotive history here. We thought this would be a good one. This is a Stanley Steamer. Uh, you can see the name badge there. There's a lot of history to these. They made them from 1902 up to the mid-20s, I guess. Uh, made in New England. And we'll show you a, a lot of, uh, we'll pop up pictures and more history on these cars. And we'll uh, tell you a lot of the early and later history of these. But uh, they're kind of unusual, you know. They don't have a gas engine in there. They got a boiler. So it's a steam steam driven car, you know, kind of like a miniature locomotive basically. And uh, you know, they got a steam whistle on them. And they are very fast cars for the day, you know, they could really move. And uh, a lot of different features on this car, so I'll show you some of those and We'll talk about some more history on them here. So we'll look at some features of this car. You notice the uh, drum style headlights. This is kind of a funny way of doing a 20s car. The running board does not connect to the fender there. It's kind of unusual for a car of this age. Now this one was probably a sedan and it's been cut down into a coupe. You can see somebody made a galvanized back end to it, but the rest of it is original. Here's the inside of it here. Kind of dark in here, but... Well, I don't know if you can see anything in there, but... It's, it's got a mohair interior. Steam gauges in there. Got the old South Dakota historic plate. Just kind of an interesting car. It's a big car, and like I said, a fast car. So we'll look up a lot more history on this for you, and tell you some more about this company, and show you some of the other models and years that they made. Okay, we're going to do a little more uh, history on the Stanley Steamer here. Uh, in 1883, Francis Edgar Stanley invented the dry plate process for photography. Him and his twin brother, uh, Freeland Stanley, started producing the plates and later sold the plates in the process to Eastman Kodak. So in 1897, they started uh, developing steam-powered cars from their factory called the Stanley Motor Company. They sold the rights to their early steam cars in 1899 to Locomobile after producing about 200 cars. And in 19, three years later, in 1902, they started another company called Stanley Motor Carriage Company, and that was in Watertown, Massachusetts. The cars were known for racing uh, between 1902 and 1909. And in 1906, the Stanley Rocket model set the world speed record of 127.7 miles an hour with Fred Marriott driving it. The brothers continued to improve on their car uh, for a number of years and we're going to show you how the cars evolved with pictures on the screen up until 1917 when they handed the company over to a couple relatives and a production manager named Carlton Stanley. In 1918 Prescott Warren, a Chicago-based investment group, took over the company and in 1919 Francis died in, in a car crash he was uh, swerving around some farm wagons in the road and it ended up getting killed. His brother Freeland moved to Colorado uh, due to his health because he had tuberculosis. After World War I, the uh, internal combustion engine was getting a lot better and it kind of faded out the steam engines over time. And uh, so the company went into a period of decline and they permanently closed in 1924. So if you'd like to know a little bit about how the steam engine ran uh, in the Stanley Steamer, it had a, a gas burner or possibly kerosene depending on what stage of the engine it was and it would fire onto a boiler with water in it creating steam. The steam would then be transferred to the pistons which was connected to a connecting rod basically right to the wheel. So there was no need for a clutch or a transmission. It was direct power from the engine to the wheels, which created a very different 
driving experience uh, from a gas engine or internal combustion engine. Uh, anyway, that's kind of the history of the Stanley Steamer. There's a lot more to the company. You can look up different things if you'd like to. Uh, if you like our channel and want to subscribe to us, it helps. If you like our videos, if you comment on our videos, all these things help with us creating more of these for you guys to watch. Well, we're going to pop up a little ad here that was done back in the day. You can check that out to see some of the information on it and the price and such. And then we're going to have the end of this video is going to be a clip of somebody driving one current day so you can see what it sounds like and looks like while driving. So I hope you enjoyed it and thank you very much.